what has this uh, spring been like for you with all the additional reps and all the additional work as you build up the last season? Yeah, spring's been going well for me so far. You know, I think just getting a lot more reps and uh, just seeing everything differently this year, you know, having a lot more experience and everything like that, uh, it's been good. And I've been, you know, stacking days and just working hard every day. How much, uh, how much more confident are you now after going through last season and really emerging as that, that lead back down the stretch? Yeah, I mean, I would say I always had confidence, but I just feel like now it's like I've seen a lot of things and, you know, I'm able to take that next step and kind of like, is rather than like if I mess up on a play, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the things that I could have did better on it, just knowing that, you know, I'm a, I'm a step ahead of last year, I feel like, with uh, all my reads and just, you know, I'm stronger, I'm faster. So I think I'm just seeing everything more clearly uh, this season. Coach Rule said Saturday it was the best the offense looked since you've been there. What, what, why, why did he say that? What were some of the things that jumped out about the play? From yeah, I think we're just playing at a really high level. You know, a lot of guys were out there. Uh, some of the younger, you know, receivers are making big plays, and I think we're just detailed with our assignments, which is the biggest thing. Is just everybody knowing their assignment and doing their assignment uh, and executing at a high level uh, that led to success. But you know, we weren't satisfied with it. We know that we got to keep, you know, working, and just one day is not going to define us. We're going to keep coming at you every day. So when you're in the huddle with guys that have basically been on campus for two, three months, two freshman quarterback, how do you bring them along as a as a teammate? Yeah, I mean, just, you know, Dylan and uh, Danny's been doing a great job, you know, coming in as uh, freshmen. They've been uh, being leaders, and I just kind of, for me, I just have their backs through it, whatever they, you know, they have questions on anything, just uh, being there for them and knowing that, you know, we need those guys to win football games, so. I mean, how'd you, how'd you feel after the season, just like your comfort level and like what this year was going to lay out for you, like considering that, you know, you, you got your position, but at the end of the season, but it came after two guys got injured who were both coming back, you know, presumably at some point this season. So did you, how did you feel, like, as, as you set out to begin this offseason? I would say, you know, I felt the same way, just, you know, proving myself every day, uh, going out there and just trying to help Nebraska win games, and most importantly, just developing myself and knowing what I bring to the table, uh, continuing to have faith in God and just trusting what I, you know, do and just working at whatever the coaches need me to work at. How much confidence does it give you to be a part of that room with so many guys who believe they can be starters for this team? Uh, it gives me, you know, a lot of confidence because I, I believe in, you know, iron sharpening iron. I feel like all these players are, you know, great and it pushes me to be better. So I think I wouldn't want it to have the room be easy or have no competition. I think I thrive off of that and, you know, just keep working. Okay, and then Coach Shirefield and Coach Barthel mentioned the importance of pass protection at the back position. Just as a young guy, how, how difficult can that be, kind of just learning everything that you need to do in pass protection? Yeah, I mean, pass protection is extremely difficult, especially with Coach White. There was a lot of different things that you do in practice, but, you know, I've been working at it. It's something that I've been working on, you know, since I've gotten here uh, to Nebraska, and it's something I take big pride in. You know, that's just as important as running the football or catching the football. So pass pro is something I've been taking, you know, big pride in in this offseason, and you're going to see me continue to work at it. Kind of a leader has Gabe been as an older guy who's been through a lot, seen a lot in, in your at your position group, and, and you know what have you seen from him from on the sideline this spring? Yeah, Gabe, you know he's been helping out. He's been at every meeting. Uh, he's been there cheering on like some of the younger guys are, are coming in. Uh, you know he wants to be out there with us, and uh, we all push each other to be better. So, you know even if he sees something I need to do better, he he'll tell me about it, uh, and just he's been just you know helping out a lot in the group. What does it mean, your coach mentioned he wants uh, you guys to be better than just good enough? What, what does that mean? Uh, everybody has a standard, you know, for running backs at the University of Nebraska, but we have our own standard. And I feel like he holds us to that, you know. Good isn't good enough, you know. We're pushing to be great. We're pushing to be the best running back group in the country. You know, I'm pushing myself to be the best running back in the country. So we all hold ourselves to that standard, and we can't settle for less. What does that look like? Um, just can improve on in your individual. Uh, everything. I wouldn't really say, you know, nobody's perfect. You know, I'm pushing to be excellent in everything, be able to catch the ball out the backfield, pass, protect, run inside, run outside. Uh, just be able to do everything, be a weapon out there. Most importantly, you know, I don't want to be seen as just a running back. You can line me up in the slot anywhere and just make plays for this team to win. That's whatever I'm going to do. Jay Bull talked about 
emphasis they put on, on bringing up the whole depth chart at running back this year? I mean, have you noticed a difference in this spring versus last spring in terms of the emphasis, you know, especially after one and two went down so early here? Uh, honestly, I, I really haven't. Um, for me, you know, biggest thing is just to keep going out there, improving every day, be consistent uh, for the other guys, you know, iron sharp and iron. But I haven't really seen a difference, I would say. Uh, for me, I just got a lot more reps uh, this spring than I got last spring. And, you know, that's, that's, a, that's something I take big pride in, being in shape, because I know when it comes to the season, uh, it'll be cake for me. So, Which those young defenders on the other side has impressed you in camp when you've been facing? Man, I would say, you know, there's a couple uh, shavers, you know, a linebacker. He's been doing a great job, and he's a physical guy. He runs to the ball after plays. He's been doing great with that. Uh, Bly, you know, playing corner, uh, he's been a, a good impression too on the defensive side of things. But I'll say they're all working really hard. But those are like the two guys that I would say have been sticking out so far. How excited are you to just get back in Memorial Stadium and playing for the fans game? Man, I'm extremely excited. Uh, this off season has been great. You know, I've been loving every second of it. Uh, you know, I just can't wait to go out there on Saturday, and most importantly, just on Thursday. You know, not even Saturday, just the next practice that we get. I'll go out there and just work as hard as I can, uh, show everybody what I'm about. So, else, okay, I add one more thing. Uh, I heard the news about Greg. You know, he's been doing radio here uh, for a while, and so I just want to keep him in my prayers and just let him know that, you know, I'm fighting with him and for him, moving on, and I hope all you guys keep him in your prayers as well.